product promotion price and placement also known as the pppp are all very important variables when it comes to facebook advertising but let's not forget your target audience most problems that marketers business owners and agencies face when it comes to facebook advertising is not finding the correct target audience for them to sell their products and services to and that's what we're going to be talking about today in this video but before we jump into the video don't forget to smash the subscribe button and become part of the family with awesome weekly videos now that being said let's get on with the video now if you stick around to the end of this video i'm going to show you how to find the correct target audience for your business and increase conversions on your ads and for this video i'm also going to be using real life examples that i've done in the past so you can see what truly works now the first thing that you want to do is go to business.facebook.com after you log in or you create your business account what you want to do is choose your ads account and here you have two directions that you can go and they all depend on what stage of the traffic temperature your audience is in cold traffic an audience that has never seen your business before warm traffic an audience that already consumed some type of content from your business and hot traffic your buyers also known as the top of the funnel middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel now let's take a look at my latest campaign This is a healthy and organic dog food delivery business that I launched in Brazil last month. And these two campaigns that you see right now are two very successful campaigns that generated me over 10,000 reais in one month after we launched. And of the 10,000 reais that you see here, 5,000 reais is monthly subscriptions. Yes, this is passive income that we generated in one month. Now, just so you have an idea, the minimum wage in Brazil is 1,039 reais. And I made in sales 10 times more than the minimum wage in Brazil working online just one month. Now for this campaign, what I used was interest targeting. I wanted to use interest targeting for my cold audience. Now because the subscriptions were a bit expensive, I chose to run ads in a specific locations where I knew the people living there were very wealthy. And as you can see over here, I chose the most obvious interests such as dogs, pet store, dog food, pets, and engaged shoppers. Now obviously the reason this campaign worked very well using interest targeting is because I knew exactly who my target audience was way before running ads i knew exactly who i wanted to target i wanted to target people living in wealthy areas that had dogs and cats at home now if you don't know exactly who your target audience is you can create a custom audience that i like to call the lookalike audience this is basically the mother of all targeting now to do that, go to business tools and click on audience. Some of the best lookalike audiences that you can create are based on your previous buyers. You can export a CSV list with their name, email, location, phone number, and any other information that you might have. Now to do that, the first thing that we wanna do is upload a CSV file. So click on create audience and select custom audience. And as you can see, we have many different options, but for this example, we're gonna be choosing customer list. Click on next and again for this example we're going to choose no. Click on next again and just upload your file. When your file is done uploading, you wanna choose your map identifier. Here, you're just basically letting Facebook know what you wanna upload from your file. Last but not least, click on upload and create. Very simple, right? Nope, because there's more. We have a couple of more steps that we need to get done. Now we have to actually create the lookalike audience. We do that by going to create audience, selecting lookalike audience, and choosing the list which is uploaded or any other list that you might have. And here is where all the magic happens. You're basically giving Facebook a list of buyers and telling them to find millions of people with the same interest and data points as your list. This will save you time and money because conversions will be much higher because you're targeting people with the same interests and data points as your buyers. Just keep in mind that the larger your audience is, the more inaccurate they will become. This is because Facebook will have less information to match with your seed audience. So that's why I always choose a 1% lookalike audience. I may be targeting fewer people, but I know that the conversions from the people that are target will be much higher. This process is fast, but it may take up to 48 hours for your lookalike audience to propagate. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can also upload a list of leads. They don't necessarily have to be just buyers. But Alvaro, what if it's the first time that I'm doing this and I don't have any types of list? Well, you can split test your ads with the same creative, just choosing different interests. So this way you will know exactly 
exactly who your target audience is based on the conversions that you get on your ads. So whichever ad is converting more, that is more likely your target audience. And just keep doing that until you eventually build a list of leads or buyers. Or one of the things that I like to do is post a video related to my niche or the product that I'm selling with the objective to get engagements and eventually start targeting the people that watch a certain amount of minutes from my videos. This way you're targeting people who already consumed your content, which means they are familiar with you, thus increasing your conversions. Now moving on to your warm audience, AKA the middle of the funnel. After you install the pixel on your website, you can then start retargeting people who have visited a specific web page, website, or have engaged with a certain event. For example, people who became your leads. And this is super easy. Again, go to create audience, click on custom audience and select website. As you can see, you can choose all visitors, people who have visited a certain page or certain time. And if you want a more qualified traffic, you can choose other events, for example, your leads. And don't worry because your retargeting ads are dynamic, meaning they're always updating the date range. So basically you only have to create your ads once and Facebook will do all the heavy lifting for you. And this is just one type of retargeting. You actually have so many different options like who visited a promotion, people who visited your page, people who engaged with your Instagram, people who left their shopping carts empty, people who left before filling out a checkout, people who clicked on a certain button and basically any other action that you can think of. Last but not least, your hot traffic, the bottom of the funnel. These are your buyers, people who already bought something from us. A $10 product, a $97 product, or a $997 product. The point here is running retargeting campaigns to upsell them on something else. A good example is a product launch that my dad and I did together in Brazil that generated over $1 million in annual revenue in less than 24 hours. This was a combination of Facebook retargeting strategies with years of marketing experience and a very big customer list of over 200,000 people. If you're starting out and you don't have that much experience, a good idea would be to start selling more affordable products and running targeting campaigns to sell them on something a little bit more expensive. Something like a tripwire funnel because it's easier to sell something a little bit more expensive to the people who already bought something else from you. And if you don't know what a tripwire funnel is, you can go to my Instagram and watch a five minute video where I quickly explain exactly what a tripwire funnel is, how to use it, why you should use it. So go and follow me on Instagram as well. The process is basically the same as creating a regular Facebook ads campaign. You're just choosing a different audience. And the secret to running very successful campaigns on Facebook is first identifying the audience and then building a custom audience based on the audience that you identified in the beginning. And then of course, creating an amazing funnel with an awesome promotion. And I know it sounds very simple, but throughout the process, you just have to split test so many things, your audience, your creatives, your promotion and your funnels. That's why you should not give up whenever filling a Facebook ads campaign, because simply you're just not testing enough things. And to finish off this video, I want to leave you with my free mini Facebook ads course where you just click on the description, watch all the videos and throughout the videos, I'll take you step by step on how to create a campaign, how to create your page, how to identify your audience and so on. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.